everyone and welcome back. So today's video is actually about my first thoughts on M-Tracker 3D. So if you don't know what M-Tracker 3D is, it's a new plugin for Final Cut Pro and Motion created by Motion VFX and it's pretty much game changing because before we couldn't do anything with 3D tracking like you can do in After Effects and in a lot of other programs. So I was just really excited to try it out and I know a lot of other people were too. So um, getting into it, First, when you open up Final Cut Pro, you put in your background clip, whatever clip you want to put a 3D object or anything over it, and then you add on the M-Tracker 3D effect in the effects browser, and then you want to click track to track your clip. And once you do that, it takes a few minutes, like sometimes it can take about five minutes or six minutes for a 10 second clip. So that is something to note that it, it does take a while to track. So once your clip is done tracking, that's when it's time to add on the models and all of the other assets that M-Tracker 3D comes with. It comes with a bundle of all different sorts of models and titles that will work with the program. So once you have that, once you place the model on top, then you're going to want to copy the track from the background clip and paste it onto your model track. You'll, you'll see it when you click on the model, it'll say paste track, and then that's when you choose the location for your model. So when you're choosing the location for the model, there's a bunch of different places you can put it. And usually when I choose a spot for it, I hit shift when I'm choosing it because I'll find that the orientation it chooses can be a little bit funky. It'll put the text sideways or something. So I just usually hit shift and it, it keeps it at a good orientation. So once I chose a spot for my model, then this is where I kind of had some issues. So first I started out with a uh, video of a table and I tried putting the shoe model on it. If you remember my attempt at motion tracking a USDZ model in motion, you'll see that it, it wasn't the best result, but it was it was interesting to see how motion's like a tracker that is built in works. It's just a 2D tracker. And I kind of had some of the same issues when I was tracking that same shot. So maybe motion's tracker is better than I thought it was. And I tried a different shot also that I had taken, and none of them really gave me the result I wanted, which is why I tried a third shot, and this was just a downtown scene of a car driving, and there was another car in front of it. And this, I tried a couple different things. I decided to try just a regular text effect that they had in there, and I really liked it. The tracking worked great, and it just... It worked like a 3D tracker should work. So some things to note with M-Tracker 3D, which are the things that I hope that they improve upon as they continue to move forward with it. So my overall thought is that I, I like it so far. There are some drawbacks like the slow processing times and Final Cut Pro quitting a little bit, but overall this is a, a big game changer for Final Cut Pro and for Motion to have the ability to 3D track. And as this product gets refined and gets better, it's, it's gonna turn a lot of people to Final Cut Pro because you can do this and you don't have to pay a monthly subscription fee like you do in After Effects or Premiere Pro. So overall, I would recommend this product. So if you're thinking of buying this plugin, I do have an affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you anymore, it just helps support my channel if you buy anything under that link. But you don't have to, this is just my first thoughts. I'll have a more in-depth review video eventually once I've tried this product a lot more. But I would recommend it at this point. So that was my first thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please comment, like if you want to, possibly even subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.